Today, we must not allow every other Nigerian to exercise their constitutional duty. Section 34, 39 and 40 empowers every Nigerian to organize a peaceful assembly and to speak about the economic hardship. On this note, this is not today's own. We are starting. This is just the start. It is a continuous action. Expect protest from any angle. It must not be me. It can be you. It is everybody because the problem does not only affect only me, neither I. It affects everyone. So on this note, every Nigerian, whether and abroad, anywhere you find yourself, if you have the capacity, organize, we will be there for you. If anybody stop you, we will come for your rescue. It is a duty in which we are signing for, and we must collectively fight for our liberation. Enough of this hike in all cost of living. No, we cannot afford to eat three square meal a day. Why those that are governing us, they can eat it, and they are even riding on our own money. What they extort from us is what they used to live lavishly. Imagine a, an humanitarian minister who embedded a lot of billions into a private account. Someone telling us that there is an airport in Kogi in which they don't have any traces of it. That shows you how cynical and wicked these our leaders are. What is your own? Um, like I said earlier on, our, our people have the right to um, freedom of assembly as it is, but our duty is to ensure that it is not hijacked by um, unscrupulous elements. And, um, you know, if caution is not taken, 
uh, which is why we are here to ensure that we provide the intelligence and of course uh, the, uh, the physical support to ensure that these um, elements do not hijack. I mean, we don't want um, a spark. We understand that you know anything could um, ignite you know uh, necessary um, actions here. So we, as human beings, are also with them to ensure that they are not led into issues that will cause chaos. If this uh, procession is not you know, followed through by all security agents, there will be lots of issues. And that's why we are here to protect not just the protesters, but as well as life and property, which is what is sacrosanct for us as law enforcement agents.